What do you really want? What do you really want from life? If you think about it very carefully, and you take all the small ideas away, what you really want is you want to reach the end, the end of a year, the end of a relationship maybe, the end of a, a time at a certain job, the end of a project, the end of your whole life, you want to arrive at that place with minimal regret, minimal regret. That's what you want. You want to know that the things that were avoidable, you avoided. You want to know that you made the best choices, that you made the best investments with your time, with your energy and with your attention. And the thing is, our culture, our society has created a story, a script that you bit into it. You got sold that story before you even understood what the implications of them were. And that story says that you are the one that has to come up with all the answers. You are the one that has to go find this way that you were supposed to belong to life, that you were supposed to run your relationships, that you were supposed to find the way to heal your inner child traumas. That you were supposed to find the way on how to clear your cache. The story of the last difficult challenge or encounter that you faced. So that you can come into each new one, fresh faced, full of optimism, energy, or doing all the right things. Applying all the right practices. Eat right, live right, practice right. It's impossible. <clears throat> it's impossible because there's too much information. You're only one person and you're constantly bombarded just by the tumultuous nature of life. And that's exactly why I created the Mojo Dojo. It is a place where all you have to do to achieve the results that you really want in terms of your own relationship with yourself, that sense of calm and inner peace that you want to wake up with every morning, that sense of enthusiasm and encouragement you have about your own life and your own prospects. That sense of belief that you are going to reach the end of all your big milestones with fewer regrets. We all want that. But we want that without having to find the impossible answers all of us, all ourselves. And that's what the Mojo Dojo is. All you do is you show up. And you keep showing up. And the results will come. When you join the Mojo Dojo, this is my guarantee to you. If you submit yourself to the practices... Your life will change or I will give you your money back. So the money is actually going to be quite trivial. It's not going to be high cost. It's not like a one-on-one a -on -one coaching session. It's a group session. And the fact that these are group sessions, like a dojo in a gym, is what's going to allow the costs to be low, negligible. And what you get for this is everything. A changed relationship with yourself, a better way to run your own special relationships, a way to reframe all of the baggage that you're carrying. All of this negative toxicity that you are bombarded with on social media. All the fakeness, all the shallowness, all the bro coaching and the master classes and the, all the crap that you are absolutely bombarded with. You can just drop. We don't need another podcast, another audio book, another course, another workshop, another this, another that. We really just need ways to keep practicing the right ones at the right time and reminders of when and how to do that and that's exactly what i've put together in the mojo dojo i'm not going to start off with a big group i'm starting off with a small group so we can practice focused and everyone gets the maximum amount of yield from our time together <clears throat> and if things like arriving at the end of a year or the end of anything any milestone with less regret is important to you. If your relationship with yourself is important to you. If the special relationships that you are struggling to maintain are important to you. If you're looking for ways to make deeper connection with your own purpose in life, your own meaning, the meaning of your life, all of this. Better ways to understand what is happening in your neurochemistry. What is happening in your psychology. What is absolutely normal experience for a human life. What's the relationship between causes and effects? You didn't create the set of life challenges that you have. No one arrives 
in our places of confusion and discomfort and frustration, dishonestly. Sometimes we inherit the circumstances of our lives. That's not all on you. It's not your fault. But it is your responsibility. And the challenge with that is the weight, the burden of having to understand and figure it all out, we think is also all on us. And of course, it's like being stuck in a labyrinth. We don't know which way to turn. We don't know where the exit is. And no amount of ingenuity and goodwill and piety and discipline is actually going to get us out the labyrinth. We need a red string. We need some help. And more we, than anything, we need perspective. So, again, if you commit to keep showing up, I'll do all the rest. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you with my hand on my heart, your life will change. I look forward to seeing you on the mats.